What's going on, guys? This morning, we have a little bit of Chrome OS news to talk about. Over the last pretty darn good while now, Google has been slowly experimenting with totally changing the design language of their Chrome OS, the operating system that you may have on a Chromebook or two in your home, or perhaps you've used or seen at school. Their goal seems to be to bring Chromebooks more in line with what they've done as of late on their Google Pixel smartphones using the Material U design language with sort of rounded bubble shaped objects and different colors which are pulled from wallpapers, things like that. Well now, Chrome OS 117 has rolled out. You should be able to download this right now on your Chromebook. Go check for an update and it is probably there and it does exactly that. So we're going to take a look right now at my Chromebook and we're going to go through the new changes in Chrome OS 117. The simplest way to do this is to just use the what's new on your Chromebook page and as you can see introducing the new material you design. If I open up my little start menu there you can see that it has a brand new look to it. It's pulling colors from the wallpaper and if I do a right click on the desktop and go to set style you can see this looks very very similar to how it looks on your Android device in particular if you're using a pixel device this is very very similar to a pixel and you can actually go in and change these accent colors and it's going to be reflected all throughout your device. If we come over here to the calendar you can see that design has changed as well as in your quick settings, this looks strikingly similar once again to their Google Pixel phones. Let's jump back to the What's New page because there are a few more things. Use Google Photos shared albums as wallpaper. So back here on this screen, if we click on the wallpaper, you can see many different options and you can select Google Photos from this. And this has been the case, but now you can actually select albums and then see shared albums as well within that. So this is a shared album that I'm in. And so now those are going to be available. Not a huge change, but definitely a nice convenience. And speaking of nice conveniences, how about easier multitasking? So we've had this before, where if you bring your cursor up to the little shrink window button, you'll see this menu pop up and then you can do very similar to what you can do with windows. You can sort of split these open windows to different sides. But now you can actually use that little circle button plus Z to make that thing pop up. Now, I don't think that this is quite perfect yet because when I do that, it should now ask me if I want to put this window on the other side. I do think that that is a little bit of a missed opportunity. It needs to be more automatic, but I do like the fact that they're making it a little bit quicker to get into. I just think that it needs to be also quicker, just like it is on Windows, to actually triage all your open windows. Again, if I split one, it should then go into this view and ask me what other application do you want to put next to it? Because if you're putting one to the side, you're gonna have another one next to it. So again, a little bit of a missed opportunity there, but it is at least headed in the right direction. I do also wanna point out that there is a cool option that you might not know about called float. And what this will do is it will put whatever you just selected down here in this floating window. And even if I click on this window, it will stay on top. And this is something I've actually used quite a bit with streaming video and things like that. It will just kind of float there on top and be out of the way. This last change is something that I can't actually demo because I don't have a video call or anything like that going on. But as you can see down there, in your calendar view down there on the shelf, you'll actually be able to see and join your Google Meet meeting. So if you've got something scheduled, you can see down there, you can actually click on join and jump straight into it from there. That will be a nice, convenient thing for some people for sure. Overall, I do think that this is a pretty nice improvement. I really like the fact that this looks so similar to my Pixel phone. I'm a Pixel user, and so this just feeling even more at home than it was before is a really nice thing. And I've not seen any degradation in performance either. It doesn't seem like it's slowing things down at all, at least not that I can tell. So that's definitely good as well. There is still one thing that I don't know exactly what's going on. It remains like my biggest problem with Chromebooks right now in the little phone connection button. I forget what they actually call this. The app streaming just does not work for me anymore. It worked for like a couple of days and then it just stopped working. I was hoping that this update would fix it, 
but it has not done anything to fix that. So that's probably my biggest complaint right now with Chrome OS is I would love to use that phone streaming option, but it's just not there. But there you go, guys. That is Chrome OS 117 in a nutshell. There may be some other changes under the hoods that we will discover as time goes by. And if I see anything interesting, I'll be sure to bring that to you. So with that subscribe button before you go, I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.